Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.05 .05 in the morning, and today's topic is Mini Moon. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome to space the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, are mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? <clears throat> so I think most of us know about the moon <laughs> that goes around the earth that we look at every in the sky periodically um, but I think most people don't know that at any given time we also have at least one other object that counts as a moon uh, around earth um, so a moon of course we have a number of satellites you know electronic satellites that bounce signals or have cameras or whatever the case may be but uh, when it comes to natural satellites that that are orbiting Earth, we have our our main moon, uh, but then we also have, uh, like I said, at any given time, at least one other mini moon. So there's currently one orbiting Earth right now, and we gave it a name, 2020, uh, 2020. CD3 or something like that um, and this object is about about the size of a car uh, about two to three and a half meters is what they're saying now this specific object we discovered last month February February something um, or maybe January something and we've seen it 52 times and so by observing it that many times over the month uh, we can tell right now that it is um, orbiting earth and we can also with those 52 sightings we can sort of backtrack and see uh, that this thing probably entered earth's orbit or orbit around earth about three years ago uh, so if you can imagine, you know, space has a bunch of objects floating around, and this one uh, came along and, you know, got pulled into Earth's gravity well and has been orbiting Earth for the last three years uh, and will continue to do so. I don't think we're sure that um, how long it'll stay with us. Uh, like I said, we've got we've got software that can sort of track orbits uh, and I guess with 52 sightings over a month that's enough to to again get an idea of, of when it entered Earth orbit I'm not sure if we have an idea of when we expect it to exit Earth orbit but it's gonna stay with us for a while um, you know this thing being the size of a car it's not it's not something that uh, would be catastrophic to Earth if it entered our atmosphere and, and hit Earth. It would probably burn up in our atmosphere coming down. Um, and so because it is this small, we didn't see it three years ago when it entered orbit around Earth. Um, and so it's kind of interesting to think about, you know, first of all, there are pictures of, of the orbit of this thing, and it's kind of, you know, when you think of the moon orbiting Earth, it's a pretty clean orbit uh, and when you think of Earth orbiting the Sun or the other planets or you know the moons around the other planets those orbits are pretty clean pretty um, uh, a pretty basic pattern that it makes but when you see the orbit of this object again called 2020 CD3 I think the you know it, it comes in because it's coming in from outside of Earth orbit outside of orbit around Earth and it gets captured and so you see that line and and then it does these weird it's just a weird pattern each pass is sort of this weird uh, erratic orbital path which is interesting to think about first of all uh, but then the other thing to think about is yeah there are these all these other objects and for you know for for scientists to claim that at any given time we have one other mini object in orbit uh, you know that means that there might be two or three objects in orbit around Earth that um, either we don't know about or we do and we're just kind of looking at and that also means that that exits the orbit around Earth and so it goes off and 
goes away <laughs> uh, and does its own thing. So, you know, kind of fun to think about. Um, again, these things are small enough that if they do enter Earth, have it, Earth, uh, Earth's atmosphere, it, it's not going to hit us and, and cause any major damage. Most likely, it'll burn up in the atmosphere. Um, you know, to if the thing if the thing were to enter orbit and and to obtain a, a really clean orbit, that that's sort of a that's sort of a you know the odds of that are really really small because orbit of an object is determined by a the size of it, uh, b the speed at which it comes in, and the distance away from from in this case from Earth. And so, depending on those three, the, the trajectory, the speed, and the distance, your chances of entering orbit and then entering into a clean orbit are really, really small. So, obviously, if, if you're coming in and you're going too fast, you know, you're just gonna, you're gonna pass right by and your, your path's gonna bend a little bit. If you're too slow, you're gonna get pulled into Earth and you'll burn up in the atmosphere. Um, if you're too far away, depending on your speed, again, you're going to either deflect off or if you're too close, you're going to pu get pulled in. So again, your, your speed and your distance away from Earth um, and that trajectory all, you, you got to be spot on. You know, the, again, the odds of being spot on into, into a location that gives you a clean orbit, um, difficult to do. So. You know, that gets you to thinking, well, how did the moon get into its spot with such a clean orbit? And, you know, it, it, it sort of points you in the direction of, well, okay, maybe the moon came from the Earth, or maybe it was formed at the same time the Earth was formed, and, uh, you know, all these thoughts, right? And so, uh, I kind of wonder, like this article that I read, we know about this one, I kind of wonder if we have more objects around Earth right now. Um, they didn't really say. This object is, is one of your common, uh, common meteors, uh, carbon-based something-something, so nothing really special about it. Uh, I couldn't tell how far away it was from the Earth either. Uh, probably would be too difficult to try and send a satellite to to go after to capture, but... Uh, you know, observing it is fairly easy. We can just take a look at it and, and watch it go around. So, uh, so yeah, interesting, kind of kind of fun. Mini moons, um, multiple objects around the Earth at any given time. Um, yeah. All right, I gotta have to work. You gotta go do whatever it is you do. Uh, we'll talk to you next time.